Alana Gray from bathwaredirect.com.au. Today we're going to talk about small bathrooms and how best to plan to design a small bathroom. Dealing with a small bathroom is one part effective layout and one part uh, illusion to create the perception of space. With regards to the layout, it's, it obviously uh, varies depending on your bathroom, depending on your space. Uh, you need to be able to walk through as freely as you can, uh, considering it's a small space. Uh, consider vanity draw drawers and doors opening, the entrance doors, shower screens and so on and so forth. You need space to be able to get in and out of the room, of the shower and what have you. With regards to creating the feeling of space, colour is really important. Light colours uh, reflect light and make a space look bigger. Dark colours absorb light and make it look smaller. Likewise, lots of bright colours will make the room feel smaller. Uh, it's more overwhelming. If you want to add colour, think about pastel, which is a little bit uh, lighter than a bright kind of uh, hue. Light and colour go hand in hand when we're talking about interior design. In bathrooms, if you've got the ability to have natural light, that's perfect. If you could have large uncovered windows, they're great. Make sure that your neighbours aren't checking in on what you're up to. Uh, likewise, skylights, if you can have a skylight, that's something that allows a little bit of natural light in. If you've got a low ceiling, and this is one of the issues in your small bathroom, consider having down lights or something that's flat in the ceiling that doesn't hang out. Um, low hanging lights are, are no good in low ceilings. And decorative lights, so chandeliers no good, uh, but likewise uh, smaller lights that are decorative that draw the eye to the ceiling make you realise how close that ceiling is to you, make you realise that the space is not large. If you've got a small bathroom, you can scale the furniture to fit, or scale the products to fit. So if, you've, if you love a particular large piece like a freestanding bath, you can include that in the design as a feature piece, but it would be more practical to have a small basin, a small toilet suite, um, a smaller shower unit to go along with that. So it's all proportionate. In a small bathroom, a great idea might be a wall hung toilet pan with the cistern inside the wall. That way the pan is the only part of the actual toilet suite that you can see. The other benefit of having it as a wall hung is that the more of the floor that is clear and that is free of clutter, the larger the space looks. And so a wall hung vanity is also a really great idea in this respect. Now clutter is the enemy of the small space. You know, if you think about a room that's full of things, stuff, it makes you feel like the walls are coming in on you. So you need to try to have storage for everything. You need to make sure that there's nothing out uh, aside from what you've strategically placed. Storage is, is a really important aspect of trying to make your, room, your bathroom look larger. Use your bathroom accessories to your advantage. You can use robe hooks, um, toilet uh, towel rails. Towel ladders are a great idea that you can have six rungs where you can put your towels and it's taking up a really small space in your, in your bathroom. It just sits on the wall. Uh, also storage in the vanity. Uh, you could have tall boys. There's lots of different ways of trying to arrange this. If you can keep the floor as free as possible, so don't have a wall hung vanity and then have boxes underneath it if you're trying to create the perception of space. It's just about being really strategic with the space that you've got. I'm Alana, this is Bathware Direct and I'll see you next time.